Hi everyone and welcome back to Frugal Radio Channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate a solution for using multiple DMR networks on a simple Raspberry Pi hotspot. Perhaps like me you would like access to both Brandmeister and DMR Plus using the single hotspot and a single DMR radio. It's actually relatively easy to set up but you will need to reprogram your radio if you use this method. If you happen to be looking at the target talk group on the PiStar dashboard here uh, right now, you'll notice it's reporting to be on talk group 2002351. In reality, it's on talk group 2351 on DMR Plus network, which is the CQ UK uh, Wires X channel. That's because I've programmed the PiStar to route all seven digit uh, talk groups beginning with the number 2 to route to DMR plus. Conversely all seven digit talk groups beginning with a number 1 are automatically routed to the Brandmeister network. You can see some of those listed below. So using this setup I can easily access both Brandmeister and DMR plus using the one simplex hotspot and one DMR radio. Let me show you how to get it set up. Now I suggest that you first set up a simple connection to just one DMR network. Once you have that tested and know that it's working well, then it's time to look at adding the second network. In order to do that, we head to configuration on the PiStar uh, menu. So we'll click on that. And then we want to scroll down in the DMR conf uh, to the DMR configuration section. So if we go down here to DMR configuration, here we have a DMR master setting. And the DMR master setting, rather than picking one particular uh, network, which is what you would have it set up as if it's just running on one network right now, it wants to be on the DMR gateway. And then when it's in DMR gateway mode, you can choose the networks that you wish to connect to. So right now I've set it up for two DMR networks. The first one here, it's asking for a Brandmeister master. Uh, the Ireland server is the lowest ping time to me, so that's the one that I have selected, but it could be any Brandmeister server at all. Um, I have my password typed in here. And then the next thing is the ESSID. So the ESSID is made up of your standard DMR number that you were assigned whenever you applied for a, a DMR radio ID and then two digits and you can select any two digits that you haven't used on another device so uh, I only have the one hotspot but I elected to use number five and, uh, and I have that set up there so as far as Brian Meister are concerned this device is going to be my DMR radio ID followed by the number 05 and then we want to turn Brandmeister on by sliding that across so you can see it's enabled right now. Then uh, there's another DMR master option just below and you can see that I have that set to the DMR plus local uh, server to me which is the Phoenix F server in the UK. If you want to use any of the static talk options those kind of things then you can set those up here in the options equals box. Uh, however I don't use any of those at all. The DMR network, uh, DMR plus network ESSID exactly the same as the Brandmeister one. I want to be able to know which device it is so I've kept the number the same but if you you want you could use a different uh, number and DMR plus network is enabled as you can see here now down below that we have XLX uh, masters I haven't used XLX at all so right now you'll see here that the XLX master enable is currently switched off once you have entered in the details in this section that you need you would simply click on apply changes and once those changes have applied they'll uh, there'll be a little more customization to do. So to access the other customization options we scroll up to the top again we need to click on expert and once this page loads up we want to go to full edit and DMR GW which stands for DMR gateway so I'll click on DMR gateway and you'll see that this basically a text file comes up and we want to scroll down to where it says DMR network 1 and DMR network 2 these are our two DMR networks and this is the section we're going to do a little bit of work in now here you will see that I have several extra lines in my network entries section 
Let's begin by looking at DMR Network 1, which for me is set up as the Brian Meister Network. And you can confirm that by looking down here. So DMR Network 1, and it's, uh, it says name BM Ireland, so that's the one I'm connected to right now. And you'll see that I have extra lines, and here's the first one, which is a talk group rewrite command. So all this command does, it says anything that comes in on time slot 2 on the RF side, beginning with um, a 1, followed by another six or seven digits, however many there are there. Those are going to get translated to time slot two. So the time slot is saying the same on the network side, but it will actually start at number one. So if I was to transmit on this talk group, one zero 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 one on the radio side, what would actually be sent to Brandmeister is just talk group one. So conversely, if I send 1000091, then that is going to come out as talk group 91 on Brandmeister. Um, the PC rewrite rule does the same kind of thing, but it actually does it for uh, private calls. I've got it limited right now, so it's actually the uh, same thing, time slot 2 in the incoming. But it just means if I send a 1-4000 command, it's going to translate that to a standard 4000 command, which is the drop QSO uh, code on Brandmeister. So that's what that is for. The pass all PC and TG, those commands are just there in order to catch all, basically. So if I type in um, any Brandmeister um, talk group number, so for example, let's say uh, the UK Reflector 2350, um, then technically, um, if I type in 2350, because it doesn't match this rule down here, which is looking for a seven digit ID, starting with two, two, three, five, zero is only four digits. Then it's going to not match this one either. It's going to say, okay, it goes in the catch all. So I'm just going to put it through to Brandmeister network. Um, similarly for network two, we have the same kind of setup. So I can see network two and I can see here that it's the uh, Phoenix F server on DMR plus network. And here I just have the two rules, the talk group rewrite and the private call rewrite. So again, same idea. Um, it's listening on time slot two because I just have time slot two. It's a simplex hotspot and it's listening for the, uh, the seven digit number beginning with the number two and it's going to translate that it's going to output that onto time slot two on the network side and again begin at the talk group number one so I'm um, just trying to think of a DMR plus ID so 235 is the UK wide DMR plus ID so if I was to type um, and set up a talk group on my DMR radio of two zero 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 two three five then what that's going to get translated to over here is just simply two three five which is going to put me on DMR plus UK wide because it matches the rule and then the two four thousand same thing it's uh, it's basically the disconnect command for the DMR plus network and um, so with those two uh, things set up, those rules in DMR Network 1 and Network 2, that is all that's needed to actually access both networks. So let's have a look at a quick example just on the screen here. If I want to go to talk group 91 on Brandmeister, then I'm going to type the following talk group into my radio. I'm going to ask it to transmit to talk group 1000091. And similarly, if I was looking to go to talk group 91 on DMR plus, I don't think that exists, but if that's what I wanted to do, then I would type in 2000091 and that would get translated to talk group 91 on the DMR plus network. So that is how to access two DMR networks from one simplex hotspot. Now if this has been a helpful video to you then please do let me know by filling in the comments section or smashing the like button and if you've got the time and if you've enjoyed videos like this then please do subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button on the uh, screen just below. Many thanks and uh, hope you enjoy some of the other videos that we have on the Frugal Radio channel. Take care for now everyone.